Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Secrets. Today we're going to learn to create the Orton effect in Photoshop and we're also going to look at how we can apply our Orton effect so that it doesn't blow out any highlights in our image. So to begin with, we first need to duplicate our background layer and we do that by holding Ctrl and J or Command and J on a Mac. Then we go to Image, Apply Image and your settings should be the same as mine. If they are, your image will become dark just like mine and press OK. Next we'll go to the blend mode of this layer and choose screen. Now we'll go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm only working with a very small image here, around 960 pixels wide, so I'm just going to use a very small radius. With larger images, you'll need a much larger radius. When you're happy with the Orton effect, just press OK. And now we have a lovely dreamy Orton effect in our image. And once we have that, we can add some great effects. For example, we can open up a color balance layer, right click on that layer and choose create clipping mask. And this means whatever changes we make will only affect the layer below. So I'm going to add some cool tones to this image by choosing midtones and just bring in the blue slider up here. And I'm going to do the same with the shadows slightly. So that's before and after. Now if you feel the Orton effect's a little bit too strong, you can always reduce the opacity of that layer. And just a quick note to Raya Pro users, we can do this very easily in the panel. Uh, I'll just choose these layers and delete them and show you what I mean. We can open up Raya Pro, go to Enhancements and choose Orton Effect Cold. And we'll choose our radius, press OK. And very quickly, we now have a nice cold Orton Effect. And again, we can reduce the opacity of any of the layers just so that it looks nice and natural. Now one problem we face with the Orton effect is the highlights tend to become a little bit overexposed and there's an easy way to work around that. Okay, I'm just going to quickly create the same Orton effect that we saw earlier but in Raya Pro. Press OK. And you can see the highlights are overexposed. To control these highlights, all we need to do is to go to Image again. Make sure we have a white mask on our layer. Go to Apply Image, but this time we're going to choose Invert. And we're going to press OK. So now, if we just disable this mask, we'll see that we had some overexposed areas here. And with the mask enabled, we've now controlled those highlights. But we've still applied the nice dreamy Orton effect to our image. Again, Raya Pro users, you can do this very easily if we just delete this mask and we put the white mask on there. All we need to do is open up the panel and go to Apply to Shadows. And that's it. We now have a very nicely controlled dreamy effect in our image. I hope you found this useful and if you have, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more photography tutorials.